Big Papa never softening. Take it to the church, rob the preacher for the offering. What up, y'all? It's the answer. We back with another one, man. This one not clubhouse related. A little more serious. The pastor in Brooklyn, live stream, robbers come in. According to reports, nobody was hurt. And is it just me? Or did y'all think of a particular song also? Big Papa never softening. Take it to the church, rob the preacher for the offering. Craziness. Let's get to the clip. I know this man okay. personally. This nigga's a bozo number eight, nine, and ten. I'm glad you uh, said that. <laughs> and uh, I know the nigga personally. I know the nigga. And I just sent you uh, the thing last night where it showed how he been robbing the old ladies in the congregation. $90,000. Yep, and told the lady he gonna pay her back $100 a week, a month or shit or a week. And then turned around and told her, I seen your 90000 as a donation, so I ain't paying you nothing back. Now she's suing him for a million. But uh, I don't know if y'all watched the video. I know the nigga. He forgot he was a pastor in the video and hit us with the, oh, the world famous New York. Yo, that nigga said, yo, on the pool pit and laid down before the niggas even got to him. Right? So, um. Six years ago, I met him. My BET team, they used to work 106 apart. Um, lady by the name of Mercedes, a great friend of mine, brought him to me. He wanted to do some reality show shit. He had just got out of jail. He had just got out of prison. And um, we're talking to him for a couple of days. I'm like, Mercedes, this nigga right here, greasy as a motherfucker. I don't know if I want to fuck with it. When he wanted to do a reality show thing, uh, with a bunch of women and people and he wanted to make it look like uh, this was going to be his transition into being a pastor. Make it look like he was saving the people in the house, right? So, as I'm talking to him in front of Mercedes, he acted one way. When I talked to him one-on-one, -on -one, the nigga turned into the Pied Piper. This nigga was slick as a motherfucker. He talking all kind of greasy shit, right? He don't know how close me and Mercedes is, right? So I look up years later. He do another play, make a little money. I'm hearing about it. He called me back again. I told him, bro, I don't want to fuck with you unless it's through Mercedes. He get mad. Why we got to put a bitch in the business? All this. This the pastor, though, right? So I, I get at the nigga because I wasn't going to lie him to disrespect Mercedes that way. So we don't talk. I look up again. He was running with whoever the the governor, or new mayor, was shit. The brother is over there in New York. He called me talking about I'm tired to this nigga. I'm telling you, once he get in, the doors gonna open up, so on and so forth. All this shit. So I see the brother win. Next thing I know, I see this nigga pop up. He's a pastor, a bishop of a church. He buying Rolls Royces. He doing all this little shit. But what he's failing to realize is the first thing the Fed's going to do and the insurance company's going to do is they're going to go through your financial situation. Facts. First thing. Nigga, they combing through it. You got to turn in bank statements. All this shit, right? So I don't know if y'all saw the video. But it's insurance fraud. At that, exactly. At the well, highest listen, level. I said one, that shit whack. I for what? For one, he never shows up to work with all this jury. So today, he puts on all this jury. Now, here goes the thing. This is where, where it's going to unfold. They're going to want to see the receipts of the jury. And I guarantee you those receipts is probably going to be about 10 days old. Mm -hmm. Right? Then they're going to end up going back to the jury store. And they're going to want to see the transaction to the jury. And surveillance. They're going to probably tell them all he paid in cash, right? If it is a play going on or it ain't one, he paid in cash. Then they're going to go back him to show, well, where did the cash come from? Hey, what's going to happen to this dummy? He's going to probably say, oh, it was cash from the offering, and this, this, that, this, this, that which is going to put him in violation of how that 5013C is supposed to operate, how it's supposed to work, right? Mm -hmm. It's also going to put him in a situation where um, yeah. 
it's uh they're gonna call that money laundering because they're gonna say instead of you reporting the money to the government right you're dumping it over here in jury which has no direct dot no direct benefit for the church right this nigga gonna end up with fraud charges and a bunch of other federal charges by the time this shit is over with. Oh, the yeah. nigga went and reported it to the blogs himself that he was robbed. What y'all think? Appreciate y'all tuning in. That 501c3 mean you gotta comply with the government. All that other insurance and fraud and countersuing, it looked like big problems. And if you went ahead and staged that with all the stuff that really goes on out here, you gotta answer for that too. So we'll see how it plays out. It's the answer. Thank for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, man. We out.